Well, welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. We're gonna do some machining today. We're gonna take our blocks. This is a heat sink block. I'm gonna machine it so it'll fit on this headlight bezel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove a fin here, 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 and here. And uh, I'm gonna drill holes for the uh, screws in these four places. And then there's uh, four more screw holes right down the middle that I've got to drill and tap. repeatability. removed and next thing is to uh, to drill at least with that one I'm gonna just remove the fins first then I'll set up for drilling after So 
just spent the last few minutes trying to figure out how I'm going to approach this to drilling the holes in these so they can mount to these. I'm going to take these out of the, out of the packages, but uh, these are the headlight bezels. And these are the heat sinks for the, um, for the LEDs. Kind of important because you don't want your LEDs to overheat. They'll get all hot and pussy and they won't work anymore. And, uh, all four positions there. So now I can get ready to drill that out. All right, here's how we're going to do this one. We're going to set the part up and the vise over here, just like this. That goes up against the work stop. And then I've got a stop here, a table stop here. I've got a table stop over here. And I can move it just a little bit this way and a little bit this way. So side to side, I can move it just a tiny bit. Hard to tell in the camera how much I'm moving it, but it's just enough. And it's just enough for the slot that I need to drill here. I'm gonna do this with an end mill right here. So I've got a little bit of a gap there on the outside. So that'll be good. Let's, I've just got to set the uh, uh, the x axis or the y axis rather. I set that x axis is this way, y axis this way, z is up and down. So I've got to set the the x-axis, make sure I've got my distance from here to here right, um, so that it fits on this. But I'm making the, uh, the holes big enough. I think I've got enough room there without uh, doing too much checking. So I believe I set that. We're going to check it with this piece here, which has been already made, already confirmed to be a good part. Will it come out right? <laughs> well, I know. It will come out right. Because when you set your tool path, you make it repeatable. Yes, those slots work just fine. Look at that. Set up. I'm gonna line up with the uh, holes in the corner here. There we go. Move that work stop, and then I can move the table. that out of there. Still using the same work stop in the vise right there. And these slots give us enough play and all four holes here 
that uh, I can put these together. Now, this could probably easily be done on a CNC machine, but uh, this is a quick and easy setup. Probably get this done quicker this way than I would have if I'd uh, made the made a program and run it that way. Unless I were running, you know, 150 of these, which I'm not. I'm only running four. That's the way I've done it. So yeah, the only, you only get the economy of scale with CNC when you when you scale up in parts. Yeah. the uh at the machine's pace and at my own pace so haste makes waste it's it's not like this is production work well it sort of is because it's for a customer but it's, it's small parts runs <laughs> Nice thing about machining, there's probably about 150 different ways to make parts and do a setup to run parts. I might be underestimating there. Yeah, of course there's only one one direction to to drill a hole, but there's there's a bunch of different ways to do a setup, a bunch of w different ways to approach it. this piece out. Here's some scribe marks I made on it. This piece here lines up just as well as every other part I've done. These are mounting holes. So these will mount quite nicely now. This thing back up again so I got clearance for the tap handle. Oh. Certainly. Would you like to get through here? I will. I'm take my tool I need. Oh, he's grabbing the bolt cutters. This is serious. Careful with the tap handle. I don't want to snap the tap off in here. There we go. All right.
So there's those two holes, and now I gotta line up the last two holes. And those are down here. That's gonna work right there. <laughs> Just hand tap these holes here. I think that's the end of that video. That's that's making heat sinks. These the heat sinks. Yeah, that is making heat sinks. These heat sinks are done, and uh, here's the final product right here. Cooking show style. Yeah. Let me just pull the final product out of the oven here. I just so happen to have one already prepared. Here we go. Beautiful headlight and uh, the heat sink on the back. There we go. That's how I. That's how I do those. At least that's how I do them now. This setup is a lot more efficient than the last setup I did, and uh, maybe the next setup will be even more efficient than that. So we'll, we'll see. Thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up button and. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel in a more substantial way, if you'd like to see what we're doing and want to see more, you can go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. That's patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. Second tier level patrons get access to our Discord server. Also, second tier level channel members get access to our Discord server as well. So, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.